Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hi guys, I'm here with the veteran Lynx, still my favorite wheel and uh, going into uh, 2024. Uh, my belief is the Lynx is going to be basically the wheel to beat of all of 2024. Of course, we don't know all the wheels which will potentially be released this year, and it's certainly not the best wheel for all situations. But in terms of just a general purpose, do it all, really fun wheel, I love the Lynx and it continues to be my go to wheel. Uh, but today I'm going to uh, fast charge it, and I've already uh, made one video where I was uh, fast charging it out during a Mount Wilson ride and uh, I was using the Roger uh, smart charger uh, to fast charge it uh, but today I'm going to charge it actually with two chargers so I'm going to use both charge ports at the same time I haven't done that yet thought I'd uh, show you uh, how that goes now in general I've been using the Roger uh, Smart Charger uh, for all my... This this is the, the charger I primarily use for all my wheels, except for my 100 volt wheels, since this doesn't go down to 100 volts. But I can charge it S22 up to uh, the upcoming 168 volt wheels. Uh, so this is my primary uh, charger, both when I'm out and about, when I need to charge... Uh, away from home and also at home. It's just super convenient to, to use. And uh, this can go up to about 2,000 watts per hour of energy can output from this guy. Now there are some limitations when you're plugged into a 110, like in the United States. Uh, this is pretty much limited to 10 to 11 amps. I basically consider it a solid 10 amp uh, fast charger. Quiet, love it. Uh, really easy to configure. Uh, if you have access to plug it into 220, then you can use full 2000 watts output of this guy. So at home, I've charged this at uh, 14 amps uh, when I'm plugged in. I'm in my workshop and I have 220 or 240 out outlets here, so I can uh, use that. I'm going to use uh, 240 today. I'll show you how I do that at home. Uh, I also have the Roger Charger um, version 4. I also have version 1. Uh, this version 4 is an absolute beast. Uh, if you want one charger that can kind of do everything, the most versatile, it's bigger, it's louder, that's the downside. Uh, but this can put out 4,000 watts per hour of energy. And um, on 110, I cannot put uh, 15 amps from here. I should say I've only tested it at 14 amps because I've charged this with this charger at 14 amps from my 110 outlets uh, because I, I don't want to exceed 14 amps on one charge port. That's why it's, I've only gone to 14 amps. But yeah, uh, this guy's a beast. So if you're limited to only one charger, fast charger, uh, this would be the guy. So I have lots of, I have lots of charging options here. Uh, and of course, this is the stock five amp charger from Veteran. And uh, I've used this, uh, well, I've definitely used it once. I think maybe I've used it twice. <laughs> But uh, again, like I said, I got this early on. Roger set me up with this, uh, the first 152 volt fast charger available. It might still be the only fast charger available for 152 volts or 168 volts, uh, which I'll be using soon. <laughs> uh, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this guy at 10 amps, fast charger and the stock charger at five amps to charge the links at uh, 15 amps. And uh, that's a lot of power at 151.2 volts. Uh, I think I got about 40% battery. So 
I'll fully charge this wheel in like 30 minutes. <laughs> but if you're empty, 15 amps, two chargers, uh, you can charge this guy up in under an hour. It's, it's just uh, pretty amazing. So uh, let me pull the camera in, camera in and show you the uh, process, which of course is very simple. All right, I have the links uh, sitting on the front bumpers, which works fairly well. Uh, I kind of wish these ports were a little more accessible because when it's sitting on the back back stand, these are pointing kind of down, so it's a little harder to get access. So uh, here's the stock charger I'm going to plug in. Now, I just want to show you for this particular setup, which obviously is not going to apply to most of you, is uh, since I, I want to, uh, well, I only have one extension cord here. This is 110, and I don't have uh, another 110 extension cord available, but I do have a 240 extension cord available. So I have this adapter I made, which allows me to use my uh, all, any of my chargers on a 240 which is convenient sometimes like today so I'm going to plug in this extension which now gives me a 110 outlet and I'm going to charge plug in Smart charger, it's coming alive. It's set to 151.2 volts at 10 amps. As soon as I plug this in, we'll start charging. And the front panel indicates it's charging, fine. Now I will plug in the stock charger. And that's it. We have uh, just about 10 amps coming in, going into the, to. Uh, the wheel from this guy and five from here, 15 amps. By the way, notice how loud the stock charger is. This guy's qu almost totally quiet compared to this. Uh, I love this smart charger. That's it, we'll be uh, fully charged in about 30 minutes. Hey, I thought I'd show you the Leaperkim app running on Android. So you can see uh, what it's showing is happening. So the right battery has got 7.45 amps going into it. Left battery, 7.43, basically the same amount. And um, it's about 55% charge, roughly, when I started this. Uh, so, let's see. This display, yeah, now it's 59. It might have been just a few minutes ago, it was 55%. Now it's 59, so it's climbing. Maybe it was closer to 50% 50, 50 when it started. Yep, 60%. You can see how fast it's uh, rising. If you can see this display, hopefully. Well, I'm like watching uh, paint dry, but uh, anyway. Everything looks good. It likes uh, it likes 15 amps for sure. Well, according to the Leaper Kim app, it took about 40 minutes to get up to 151 volts. It was still charging, but the current was starting to ramp down at that point, so it was entering more of the balancing phase, and that could go on probably for 30 minutes to get you know fully fully charged. So 40 minutes to go roughly 50% with uh, two chargers, 15 amps. 
not bad. I can live with that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this video uh, useful to you. If you happen to have a Lynx and you're interested in, in uh, various options for uh, charging it. Uh, until next time, safe riding.